nothing that you cannot, that you cannot nail to that cross. A lot of believers, you know, they, they use the cross to get saved. They use the salvation message to get saved, but then they try to work everything out their own way. But I say this, if the, if the power in the cross was the thing that saved us, why not live by the power of the cross to believe God for everything else? Why not use, why not use the atoning work of Jesus? After all, if he says it's finished, that means it's all done. And you're just going to walk in what he's already predestined for you. He's already taken care of it. What, right? Why change the power of salvation after getting saved by depending on our programs, by depending on how we're doing things? We like to pat ourselves on the back, talk about how we sweated it out that night in prayer and how we do this and how we're, you know, we, you know, we're bringing revival messages and we want to do this and we want to we, 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 I, I, I. And this, is a, this gospel has nothing to do with we. This is all about him. This whole thing, this, everything is for him, with him, about him. That's it. You know, I just think there's too much of us in this message. And that's, how, that's why I personally think that, you know, we're not getting enough folks saved. I think there's just too much of us in it. So here's the good news. It's been taken care of for you. But what about my... It's been taken care of. But what about that problem? What about my job? What about that, my health? It's all been taken care of at the cross. Jesus said you must believe. When you ask for something, you must believe that you have already received it. The scripture says it shall be yours. What does that mean, church? That means behave as if it's done. Come on. That's what it means. It's a change. That's all that is, is a change of behavior. It's in other words, I'm waiting to get healed. I believe, I want God to heal me. I want God to heal me. Uh, I need it. I want it. I need it. As my brother Dennis always says, it's just receive it because it's already been taken care of. Right, Dennis? It's, a, it's already been done. You're trying to get something that's already been provided for you. It's already there. Don't work so hard to get something that's already been given. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I, I mean, you know, it's like, it's like when somebody gives you a gift. Here's a gift of, here's a, here's a gift. God says, here's a gift. No, I, I'm going to pray about it. <laughs> no, just take it. Amen. Just take it. Oh, I don't know if it's God's will or not. You know, we're, you know how many times we pray, we try to pray our way out of what God has already just given us? When God wants us to do something, it's so tragic. I'll pray about it. I'll see. I'll see if that's my ministry. I'll see if I'm led. The, the body of Christ has got a problem. We all suffering with lead poisoning. I don't feel led. We should have been led. We're not led. You know? Come on. The scripture tells us how to live, how to act. It's right here in the book. Amen. It's renewing our minds in this book continually that's what it is being being <laughs> it's so true Amen. how do we do this and just got to be led how come you're not a church brother that wasn't led didn't feel didn't feel led you know the bible never says to in order to, to obey god it never says pray and look for a feeling it doesn't even say pray and let a voice direct you. That's another subject altogether, the will of God. Well, brother, you know, God hasn't spoke to me. God doesn't speak to me audibly every day. He doesn't just go, good morning, Bill, this is the Lord. Wake up! What are you doing? I, you know what? If I want God to speak to me, i got to get in his presence. i got to get quiet a little while. Sometimes he doesn't want me to say a thing. It was a time I got in God's presence. All I talked to him about was all the things that needed to get done for the ministry. And God says, okay, well, can you just be quiet and just give me a chance to speak? <laughs> oh, maybe you've never been there. You know? And I tell you what, we need to listen more than we, we need to be quick to listen, slow to speak. I love listening to other preachers because I found out if all I did was talk that day, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise. Well, let's pray. Let's close out in, in prayer here tonight. Father, we just come before you. We love you, Lord. Lord, what can we say other than thank you? 
Thank you. And tonight, I pray with my brothers and sisters, Lord, that we divorce ourselves from our, own, from our own ways to set ourselves free from power that has a hold on us in so many different ways, Lord. It is your power. Help your body to stop striving. Help us to stop striving for something that's already been taken care of. Father, give us the revelation of the cross in a fresh way. Lord, this message of the cross is for everybody. Jesus Christ loved ev loves every religion, every denomination. You're out there watching today. It doesn't matter what church you're in. God loves you. It doesn't matter if you're not in a church. The Lord loves you. He paid this all for you to come in. But he will not force you. The Bible says today, if you hear his heart, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Don't say, I can get saved whenever I want to. This may be your only opportunity out there, those of you by, by television. This may be your only opportunity. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Don't assume that you're going to be here forever. Do not let the opportunity slip away. Receive Christ right now into your hearts. Just by telling him, Lord, bring me into your presence. Lord, I want to be, like the scripture says, born again. Those that are not born again cannot see the kingdom of heaven. So, Father God, I just want to do what your word says. Lord, those of you that don't, that don't know what you're doing, wonderful. Get into a church and get a Bible and get around people that love God and they'll show you, they'll help lead you. Amen. Because the Lord took care of it all for you. And all you're going to do is walk into what he already had prepared from you for the, from the foundations of the world. If you're out there and you received Christ today, ain't the, the, heaven's having a party. The Bible says the angels rejoice when one sinner repents. Salvation is truly a miracle. It is a miracle. It is, it is, it is, it is the death of our will and the, and the life of his will that lives in us.